Hi, I'm Claire, the creator of Freely Give Yoga. At Freely Give, every Wednesday we post an hour-long yoga flow at 8 p.m. Eastern Time in the U.S. And we also post a video related to some other yoga topic every Friday. So if you haven't already subscribed, please hit that subscribe button and sign up for notifications so you know when we post something new. Also, if you like this video, please like it and comment on it. Everything that I post and all the resources on YouTube and on Instagram and my website and anywhere else are completely donation based, which means that they're free for anybody that wants them. But if you do want to make a donation, you can always donate to the Venmo or the PayPal that's in the description of all of our videos. 50% of everything that you donate goes to a different charity at the end of each month. We vote on which charity to give to on Instagram, so if you want to participate in voting for a charity, you can follow us on Instagram at freely.give.yoga. I wanted to make this video so that I could introduce myself and you could get to know me and Freely Give. So like I said, I'm Claire. I'm a yoga teacher and a social worker. I really love working with people and I'm passionate about creating community wherever I can. I also think it's really important that we talk about how we're actually doing and when things are not going great for us to just be honest about that because it's so crucial for our mental health to be real with each other and we can create community with other people who are going through the same things. I lived in New York City until the pandemic happened, and now I'm in Denver with my family. A few months after the pandemic started, I lost my job doing therapy with young children and their families, and I was really bummed about that at first. It took me a while to figure out what I was going to do next. But it ended up being a really great thing because it enabled me to start this business, which I honestly never thought that I would be able to do. And it's such a dream being able to create a business surrounding yoga, which is something that's been really, really important in my life for the last 10 plus years. I grew up playing sports, and like a lot of people who grew up playing sports, I learned how to push my body to its limits and eventually how to push my body past its limits. I forced my body to do a lot of things that it wasn't made for or that it wasn't really up for that day. And I also started comparing myself to my teammates and eventually to all the other people in my life. And that only got worse as I got older. When I got to high school, I was constantly comparing myself to all the people in my classes, my friends, even people that I had never met before. And I was always talking to myself really negatively and wishing that I was more like those people that I was comparing myself to. I was always focusing on my flaws. And that caused me to develop a really negative relationship with myself. I spent so much time just hating myself, um, especially my body and my looks. I was constantly being really negative and mean to myself. And that caused me to develop a negative relationship with exercise and with food. Like I said, I played sports and I spent hours every day practicing and um, really essentially exercising at practice. And then I would restrict the amount of food that I ate because I wanted to fit into this certain image that I had of what my body was supposed to look like. So I definitely was not nourishing myself enough for the activity that I was doing. And it became such a vicious cycle because my feelings about myself made me want to exercise too much and not eat enough. And then the process of exercising too much and not eating enough made me hate myself even more. And this continued for a few years, pretty much through my whole teenage life. Um, until I started really doing yoga a lot more often. And when I started incorporating yoga more into my life, I began, first of all, tuning into what my body was actually feeling and starting to try to listen to what it was telling me. And once I began to listen to what my body was saying, I started 
feeling like my body and I were on the same team instead of feeling like I had to change my body and force it into something that it just wasn't. And this was a huge shift for me and I first really realized it when I began taking rest days. And I know that that sounds like sort of a weird like simple thing to do, like to take a rest day. But for me, it was a very big deal because I pretty much played sports every day. And when I got into college and there wasn't that structure, it was easy for me to continue forcing myself into that pattern of exercising every day and being on a really strict and regimented schedule, no matter what my body wanted. But once I started listening to myself and taking rest days and realizing that if I took a rest day, that doesn't mean that my body's suddenly going to change drastically and it doesn't mean that um, it's going to turn against me, I realized that I didn't have to hold on so tightly to control, especially over my eating and my exercise. And... I started really actually valuing my body for more than what it looked like. I started actually caring about what it did for me and what health feels like, not just what I looked like. And eventually that began to translate into other areas. I started actually eating when I was hungry and not sticking to a really restrictive diet or a restrictive eating schedule that just didn't work for me. And eventually, I started applying that to relationships too. I started actually being friends with people I liked spending time with and who cared about me. Once I valued myself, I realized that I could have relationships with people who valued me too. It took years to unlearn some of those negative thought patterns, and yoga was a really big part of that for me. It helped me heal from past traumas and from a really negative relationship with myself. And it helped me develop a relationship with myself that was based on love and respect instead of hatred and a need to change who I was. And because of that, I know how valuable yoga can be and how powerful it can be as a healing tool. And I want to share that with other people and not only share it, but empower my students to experience that healing themselves. I started this business with the intention of creating a community of yogis online, especially during a time when we're all feeling really isolated and alone. And I want this community to be not only inclusive of everyone that wants to be part of it, but also welcoming to everyone. I also want to show that yoga is so much more than just an hour-long vinyasa flow. It is the way that we move throughout our lives and the way that we relate to the world and other people and ourselves. I also want to be intentional about being authentic and being honest here. I think that it's really important that we're just real about what's actually going on with us in our lives because we literally all have things going on and none of us are perfect and we're all human and I think that we need to just come to terms with that and realize that there's nothing wrong with that. So I want to share those not so glamorous things with all of you so that you all feel welcome and empowered to share that even with just yourselves, but also with each other if you want to. And I think that we can multiply the benefits and the goodness of yoga and especially of a yoga community with donations to other organizations so that we can spread the love. If there's anything else that you want to know about me or about Freely Give, you can follow us on Instagram at freely.give.yoga or you can leave a comment below and maybe I'll make a video in the future answering some of your questions. If you like this video, please remember to like it and comment and subscribe to our channel and we post new videos every Wednesday and Friday so make sure to keep an eye out for those. Thank you so much for watching.